Hi, this is Tim. The fastest way to get real world experience is listen to people that have already been there. PLC law number one, don't overcomplicate the simple. I talk to people off this ledge all the time. The local salesperson has sold them on just the latest and greatest toy and they look and they're like, I've got this solution. Let me go find a problem for it. Do not take your solution and go looking for a problem. Evaluate your problem and find a solution for it. You'll be dollars ahead. That one's from Bob Lightfoot on Mr. PLC. And a student recently asked me, do you know the PLC laws? And I'm like, man, I have never heard of them. Let me Google that. And it's over at Mr. PLC and PLC law number two was done by me back in 2006. That's right, guys. I am one of the original Mr. PLC guys. Look, I even have the root shirt to prove it. And I had to put this shirt on backwards so you could see it. So let me do a quick wardrobe change. PLC law number two, make sure your cable is plugged in before you try to figure out why you can't go online. And you chuckle, I bet, right now thinking who in the world would have ever done that? Trust me, I've got hundreds of hours trying to connect to a machine and the cable's laying over on the floor. PLC law number three, during startup, Verify your I.O. before you test your program. And this is a common one. You're excited. You just want to see your machine move. We're going to skip over some of the less important switches, such as over travels and safety switches and other things that are really there to prevent you from tearing up your machine. Can you guess when a good time to tear up a machine is? Yeah, when you're debugging a new program. PLC law number four, when you connect your serial cable, don't screw the screws in because inevitably somebody's going to walk along and jerk the cable and the next thing you know, your computer is going to be on the floor. PLC law number five, read the manual before you try to commission an unfamiliar piece of hardware. This one comes from Ken Moore and one, I heard Ken Moore just retired. Ken, congratulations on your retirement. But Ken was always one of those experienced individuals that I would say was in the back of the automation ship, just kind of anchoring it down, keeping us from darting all over the place. And this is something that a lot of the new communities are missing. The communities I see on Reddit and Facebook and even LinkedIn. Y'all don't have that back of the automation ship experience and I watch you dart all over the place and you know I even tried one time to get in there and be like hey you want to try this and it's just like mudsling 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 and so nobody with any experience is going in there. So find you a community that is intergenerational to learn from. You need people that are young and hip and yeah you need some grumpy old men. PLC law number six, always have backup files of your programs before you make changes. Make sure you know the difference between upload and download. On many brands of PLCs, they are swapped. PLC law number seven is always double check that you have the right cables before you get to the job site. PLC law number eight, each manufacturer has their own software and some manufacturers have multiple software. One, this means that you need to make sure you have the software before you get to the plant to try to work on a machine. This also means that you should not say that you can work on every type of PLC. Be narrow and be good at what you do. PLC law number 10, make sure you have your voltages set to the right setting before you power up your machine. This can really ruin your day if you have something set for 110 volt and you plug it into 220 volt. PLC law number 10, try to stage and test as much as your code possible before making major changes. This one comes from Peter Nashry, who also recently retired. He may be the smartest person in the industry. And this is where some of us that are starting to tip the scale towards the older side of our industry are going to have to pick up these mentorship roles. PLC law number 11, spares should not be sitting on the shelf. Take them out of the boxes, mount them on the wall, and use them to learn when you have opportunities. Well, what if Johnny burns one of them up? What if Johnny learns something that cuts the amount of time down that it takes him to get the machine back running? Learn more about Common Sense PLC programming here. Till next time.